You may be seated. Good morning. I would like to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony for the Fairfield Christian Academy class of 2017. On behalf of my class, I would like to extend a big thanks to all of you who helped make this day possible. First off, I would like to thank the teachers and staff here at FCA. We know that teenagers aren't always the easiest people to deal with, but you've done just that and you've helped and supported us all along the way. You have taught us so much in our time here at FCA. Academically, you've taught us about electricity and magnetism. You showed us how to do simple algebra, and you've given us a love for pride and prejudice we never thought we'd have. <laughs> you have also taught us life lessons and how to survive once we step out into the real world. And most importantly, you've taught us how to live like Christ and how to be the strong Christian leaders we are today. For all these things, we say thank you. Secondly, I'd like to thank my fellow classmates. You are one of the main reasons I was able to survive high school. We have helped and encouraged each other as we made our way through this long and sometimes seemingly endless journey through high school. The memories we have made together are ones that I will cherish forever, and I hope you will too. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank our families. From helping us open our lockers at freshman orientation to motivating us to overcome our senioritis and finish our homework senior year, you have done it all. Whether it was staying up till four in the morning to help finish a National Day of History project, thanks mom, or driving us to countless sporting events, choir concerts, and other activities, there was never a job too big or too small that you weren't willing to help with. Your constant love and support are the reason we are all here today. Without your help, who knows where we would have ended up. For all this and so much more, we say a big thanks and we love you. Now I'd like to talk about my class, the class of 2017. There are so many ways to describe us. We are the biggest graduating class in FCA history, and in my unbiased opinion, we are also the best. <laughs> we are extremely competitive. Whether it was a game of dodgeball in gym class or Jeopardy in Mrs. Seaman's history class, you better believe we always gave 110% of our effort in order to win. In addition to being competitive, we are also extremely creative. And if you don't believe me, just look at some of the stories Preston Randall has written in English class. <laughs> However, as I sat thinking of the best way to describe our class, none of these characteristics seem to encompass everything that the class of 2017 is. And then I realized why. It is because the best way to describe our class is to discuss our diversity. Our class is full of students with varied talents, interests, and abilities. If you look at the individual students in our class, you will see numerous talents. Some students have incredible music abilities. I don't think I can count on two hands the number of instruments Eric Heron can play, and David Harris has played the cello in countless orchestras and concerts. Other students have amazing athletic abilities. In track, Isaac Nairs jumped 6'8 in the high jump. Kylie Edwards set a new district record in the 1600 meter, and Ruthie Johnson qualified for regionals in four events. Samantha Collier is an outstanding softball player and will continue to play at the college level. Then there are students with amazing academic abilities. You can pretty much ask any question in the world and I bet Luke Hoover will know the answer. <laughs> in addition, 60% of our class are graduating with their honors diplomas today. Not only is our class diverse in our talents, but we are also diverse in our interests. Sarah Nolan makes some of the best cupcakes you'll ever taste. Luke Custer and Sam Hamm are outstanding photographers. Iris Kellett spent her summer rescuing sea turtles, and Isaac Spangler writes and composes his own music. In fact, I bet if you name an activity, you'll be able to find someone in our class who has an interest in it. Finally, our class is diverse in where we're headed. Some of us have chosen to join the military. Others are, are planning to attend college to become doctors or nurses. Some of us have chosen to become engineers. There are those who are choosing to attend college right here in Lancaster, while others, or should I say one other, has chosen to go all the way down to Texas. Some of us will be Buckeyes next year, while another, for some reason, has decided to go to that school up north. <laughs> As you look through our class, I believe you will see a variety of diverse people. People with different talents, interests, personalities, and plans for the future. While we may be a wide-ranging class, I believe we have one thing in common. We are created by a loving God and called to do his will. 1 Peter 4.10 says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace. Our God has given us these talents that make us who we are, the class of 2017. Thank you.
Hello. Gentlemen, if you would please remove your caps. Nope, that's me too. Well, it is certainly an exciting feeling to finally be in our graduation apparel. I know for some of us it has been a long ride, and for some of us it's been something that has taken forever. But uh, who would have thought that our massive class would have all made it here together in one piece? But I think this is what makes our class special and unique. For the most part, we aren't afraid to stand out from the crowd and be a little different. As Luke uh, Coomer already addressed, we all are unique and we all are different. I think there's an important thought we could pull away from this, but first I'm going to tell you about our class first because that's what I'm obliged to do. Uh, now as I introduce our class first, I would like to add some context to it because what's the point of me spouting off a class first if we don't really understand what's in the Bible in the first place? And this passage uh, in Chronicles was a time in history where many wars were fought between the Israelites and the surrounding nations. And in fact, the Old Test a lot of the Old Testament is really God showing his perfect judgment, forgiveness, and faithfulness to the Israelites even when they would be disobedient to him. And this particular story is just another instance of this. However, this time, things are twisted a little bit. The Israelites actually had the land that the God, God had gifted them, and they had to defend it from attacking nations. And this was, at this point, they realized that they couldn't do this on their own. They, there were a lot of people coming at them and to attack them, and they ha had to rely on God for help, and that was a crucial step for them. They realized they couldn't do this on their own. So King Jehoshaphat, who was a godly king of Israel, uh, told all of his people to come out of their homes and cry out for God for help and I bet this was an amazing sight to see we think sometimes in the United States our churches can be a little crazy and wild but in this nation the whole country came out and was crying out for God and uh, so I imagine that must have been a wild sight now if we uh, see God's spirit moved among the crowd of people and they came to one random man named Jehaziel who felt led to speak at the time on what the Lord had told him and this is where I'm going to pick up in 2 Chronicles 20:15. It says, Jehaziel said, listen King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you, do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. He boldly stood up and he said something when he didn't have to. He felt the Lord call on his heart to say something, and so he did. So then in the next verse, the man says what God's plan is, the plan to defeat the vast armies approaching him, and the people trusted in his word because they believed it was God breathed. And finally, in verse 17, which is our class verse, Second Chronicles 20, 17, see what we did there? <laughs> Which is our, um, it says, you will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Fellow seniors, the world needs people that stand out. In a world that society tells us we have to fit in a lot of times, people need to be different. People need to be like Jehaziel and stand out from the crowd and not be afraid to say something, especially when God puts it on their heart to say something. In fact, I believe that we should want to be different. In fact, Christians are called to be different. Um, and that's, I believe that individuality, that uniqueness, is a forte of our class. Like Luke said, as I have already said, um, we are all unique in our own ways, and we are all gifted with individual talents and skills that we can excel in as we move on in life. And my prayer is that every single one of us takes what we are gifted with and uses it to glorify the God who gave them to us as we move on from Fairfield Christian. Even in our battles, and I know we're going to face many, we all know we're going to face many, because life in the real world can get chaotic sometimes, just ask your parents about that. Um, we must stay strong, just like the Israelites did, and place our trust in a God that is always going to be there for us. Thank you. And at this point, I'd like to call up the pastor to talk to you guys a little bit. Let's bow our heads together, please, as we pray. Heavenly Father, we come into your presence this morning and we thank you so much for the occasion that has brought us together here. Our hearts are full of joy, our Father, because we celebrate the class of 2017. We're thankful, our Father, for Fairfield Christian Academy. We're thankful, for our Father, for these students who have uh, traveled through the years at the Academy and have come to this place where they are graduating and we are excited for them. And God, I just pray that your Holy Spirit would anoint each and every one of these graduates. 
that as they graduate today and as they go out into the world, that they would be led by you, they would be used by you, and that their lives and the days, months, and years ahead would glorify you and all that they do. And we know, our Father, that you have uh, great things in store for this class. And we just ask now your richest blessing upon them. So bless us as we share together in this celebration and bless all of those who participate. Uh, and I just pray, God, that you would be glorified in everything that is said and done. We love you. We praise you. We thank you. In the precious name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, choir. Congratulations to the seniors, parents, and guests of the class of 2017. I'm Becky Kanako, I'm the guidance counselor here at FCA, and I would like to introduce our platform participants at this time. To my right is Fairfield Christian Academy Board President, Todd George, who will be presenting the graduates with their diploma during this diploma awarding portion of the ceremony. Next to Mr. George is our high school principal and superintendent, Craig Carpenter, who will be assisting him. Joining me at the podium today is also Pastor Dave Albert, FCA chaplain, who will be assisting with this portion as we have such a large group and I really would like to have a voice at the end of this day. So as each graduate is called up to the platform, we're gonna be sharing information about them. And behind us on the screen will be pictures of the graduate that they have chosen for this occasion. It's a very special time to highlight each graduate and some of their many accomplishments. The program itself contains a legend to assist you to identify the honor cords and medals that they're wearing. So if you get bored, you can say, okay, this kid has this color, this color, this color, what are the, so it's a match and tell. You can use your program. Many of the graduates do have plans to attend college in the fall, and every one of them has some place to go. So we're very thankful for that. No one is coming back with us. They have received scholarships and awards as a result of their grades, their test scores, their community service, and their extra, uh, extracurricular participation. The program does list those merit scholarships and awards, and as a class, they have been offered over six and a half million dollars in scholarships and awards. It's, it's incredible. These are actual scholarships and grants. This does not include Pell Grants uh, based on family income, otherwise that amount would be larger. The scholarship amount offered, of course, is larger as some of our students have wisely applied to more than one college in their decision-making process, which is a very smart thing to do. And at this point, as a class, they have accepted 2.2 million in scholarships and award amounts. So that's the actual amount that's gonna be used to pay for their education. We do have some scholarships that are still yet to be announced that will come in and trickle in throughout the summer. But yes, this is our largest class and our largest um, scholarship awarded class. This class has done an amazing job of applying, seeking out the best opportunities that are out there for them individually, and you know what? I'm confident that they're going to continue to succeed in their future endeavors. So at this time, will the first row please move to your staging area? And marshals move to where you need to do, be. Very good. Parents, you are certainly welcome to come take pictures. You see in the program the order of the kids' names. You'll get a feel for how we're doing this. Come down the aisle, take the pictures, okay? A lot of you are way back there, come on down. We're fine, we're family here. All right, so come take the pictures. Graduation will be posted on YouTube, so if you don't wanna worry about taking video, it'll be on YouTube, thanks to Mr. Burcham and the media team. We're also live streaming this, so welcome to those of you who are watching from afar. <laughs> Mrs. Laura Wise and Ms. Mr. Chris Hawks will be also taking photographs, and I believe Mr. Hawks is doing video today um, as well. So, now we are ready to begin. Graduates, you ready? Here we go. Yes. Patricia Catherine Alley. Patricia is the daughter of Lance and Dr. Sarah Alley. Patricia will be attending Ashland University in the fall to major in international business. She has been awarded an academic scholarship from Ashland University to use toward her studies. Her future plans are to study abroad during college, join the Peace Corps after she gets her degree, work in the field of international business with the goal to save enough funds to start her own business. Patricia's significant accomplishments in high school include being Vice President of Mu Alpha Theta, Vice President of Student Council, and also being part of Ski Club. 
Patricia's life verse is Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary when, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Patricia Alley. Madison Lynn Ament. She is the daughter of Rob and Jenny Ament. Madison will be attending Bluffton University in the fall to major in speech pathology. She has been awarded the Bluffton Academics Honors and with Distinction Award, Presidential Participation Scholarship and Tuition Equalization Scholarship. Speech, speech, speech pathology is what she's helping me with here today. All right, I got this. Her future plans after obtaining her undergrad and degree in speech pathology are to move to Ohio University for her graduate degree, eventually specializing in working with children. Madison's notable accomplishments include having the opportunity to get blood, the American Red Cross, blood drives, being a member of Mu Alpha Theta, Math Honor Society, National English Honor Society, earning her varsity letter in volleyball. And her life verse is found in Colossians 3. Whatever you do, Work at all of it with your whole heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving, and she does. That's Madison Ammons. Okay, I, just a sidebar. I've never gotten to watch this part, so stepping back is amazing. You guys are a wonderfully beautiful audience. So neat to be able to see the kids actually get their diploma, the roses, to the, to the moms. How amazing is that? So, all right. Sorry, Levi. <laughs> Levi A. Bailey. Levi is the son of Tim and Terry Bailey, there in the middle. Levi will be attending Ohio University Lancaster in the fall, where he has been awarded the OUL Achievement, which is a half tuition scholarship based on his GPA and his ACT scores. Levi's future plans are to graduate from college with a bachelor's degree, get a steady foundation under his feet, meet a wonderful, godly woman. So if you're out there, this is Levi. <laughs> Raise a family and spread the good news of Jesus Christ until the day he dies. Levi's accomplishments and memories during high school include achieving principal's honor roll all four years of high school, great experiences at Echoing Hills, and graduating with an honors diploma. Levi's favorite verse is Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Levi Bailey. Riley Ann Blankenship. Daughter of Ronald and Stacy Blankenship, stepdaughter of Beth Blankenship. Riley will be attending Ohio University, Athens in the fall, majoring in nutritional sciences with a minor in psychology. She has been awarded the Ohio University Trustee Scholarship. She's also the 2017 American Red Cross Drive uh, to Serve Scholarship recipient. An excellent work over the past two years for the American Red Cross and these blood drives. Her future plans, pursuing a passion in helping people, probably getting married, owning lots of dogs, traveling the world. Significant accomplishments in high school include being named honorable mention central district for volleyball, volunteering for the Humane Society, being involved in the ski club. Her favorite verse is found in Psalm 28, the Lord is my strength, my shield, and him my heart trusts. And that's Riley Blankenship. Sarah Elizabeth Bosworth. Sarah is the daughter of Nicholas and Kimberly Bosworth. 
Sarah will be attending Ohio University Lancaster in the fall. And her future plans are to attend and graduate with a degree in accounting finance, get a job in the field, and work up to a corporate level. She would also like to get married someday and have a family. The significant accomplishments that Sarah wanted to share include playing the piano for eight years, helping to open and run a family-owned thrift store to serve a lower-income community for three years, and to help run and manage the secret Christmas shopping experience for preschool through fifth graders at FCA for her senior project. Sarah's favorite verse is Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong, courageous, do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you, he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Sarah Bosworth. Jessica Renee Brandt. Daughter of John and Pam Brandt. Jessica's been accepted at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. She's decided between majoring in education or sports medicine. She's been awarded the academic scholarships from NVNU to use toward her education. Future plans including college, eventually getting her master of ministry to serve God the best that she can. Significant accomplishments she has chosen to share today include being named first team all leagues, second team all district in softball during her junior year, being able to serve others at Camp Echoing Hills during grades 10 and 11, and her senior mission trip to Hawaii. Her senior project, re regaining the children's ministry, which has inspired her to work toward her master of ministry. Lamentations 3 is her verse today. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Jessica Brandt. Noble Robert Camp. Hi, Jared. Noble is the son of Don and Mary Camp. Noble will be attending the University of Cincinnati in the fall and majoring in computer science. His future plans are to finish college, get married, have kids, and live life to the fullest. Memories of high school for Noble, Noble include Echoing Hills, the mission trip to Hawaii, and coaching flag football for Senior Project. His life verse is Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait in hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Noble Camp. <laughs> Devin Wells Carpenter. Son of Jerry and Kelly Carpenter, he will be attending The Ohio State University at Newark where he plans to major in business math. Future plans are to succeed at OSU Newark, to transfer to Ohio State University main branch to finish out his degree. Devin's significant accomplishments including being a member of the National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, volunteering at Camp Echoing Hills during Missions Week and coaching a season in flag football. His favorite verse in Jeremiah 29, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And this is Devin Carpenter. Great. Yes, you have permission to call me Becky now. <laughs> but please be nice. <laughs> Daniel Isaac Cheleski. Okay, Daniel has his own fan club and is the son of Andy and Dana Cheleski. 
Daniel has been accepted into the United States Air Force with the goal of specializing in airline vehicle maintenance. Daniel plans on making a career in special operations, retiring from the USAF, then becoming an airline mechanic and having a family. Accomplishments for Daniel in high school include earning three varsity letters in golf and baseball and one letter in cross country, becoming ASE Automotive Service Excellence certified in electrical engineering at the Fairfield Career Center and receiving the Merit Honor Roll for 4.0 GPA in that program and serving at a Christian youth camp in Des Moines, Iowa for a summer. Daniel's favorite verse, which is also his life verse, is Psalms 23:4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Daniel Cheleski. Samantha Irene Collier. Daughter of Scott and Michelle Collier, Samantha is attending Mount Vernon Nazarene University in the fall. She will major in communication science and disorders. Samantha has been awarded the MVNU's Presidential Scholarship and Honors Program Scholarship, also the athletic grant to play softball at Mount Vernon. Future goals including graduating from college, getting a job, starting a family, finding a home church to follow God's plan for her life. Significant accomplishments here, memories, being named All-State in softball, serving as secretary for the FCA National Honor Society, winning the district championship in varsity softball. With all that, her favorite verse, 2 Timothy 1, for the Spirit of God gave us, uh, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. And that is Samantha Collier. Casey Lee Curtis. <laughs> Casey is a daughter of Randy and Wendy Curtis. Casey will be attending Olivet Nazarene University in Bourbonne, Illinois. That's a word to pronounce. Where she has been awarded an ONU academic grant. Casey desires to major in multimedia communications with a minor in not-for-profit management. Her future plans also include graduating from college in four years, good plan, <laughs> getting a job and starting a family. This is what she de desires, but she realizes, and this is what she wrote, she realizes that plans change and that God sometimes has other plans for her. Significant accomplishments for Casey include receiving the American Red Cross Youth Hero Award during her freshman year being inducted into the National Honor Society during her sophomore year, and being named to the principal's honor roll for the first time during her junior year. Casey's favorite verse is Romans 8:31. What then? Shall we say in response to these things, if God is for us, who can be against us? Casey Curtis. Luke James Custer, <laughs> son of Dr. Tim Katie Custer, attending Cedarville University in the fall to major in industrial design, been awarded the Chancellor's Excellence Scholarship from Cedarville University, received a scholarship from South Central Power Company Foundation to use towards his education, future plans including the uh, finding an industrial design job, getting married, having children, Accomplishments here include the regionals and cross country making the FCA news videos for chapel, also available on YouTube, <laughs> and getting the glazed donut award from one Mr. Albert. <laughs> I didn't know that was in here. All right. <laughs> Deuteronomy 31.8 says the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And this is Luke Custer. Paul V. Daniels III. <laughs> Paul 
Paul is the son of Paul and Christina Daniels. Paul will be starting his general education courses at Ohio University Lancaster next year as his plan is to wipe out all the basic courses he can before proceeding on to a more specific degree program. Smart man. Significant accomplishments in high school include, and I didn't write this, he did, cooking mac and cheese in three minutes and 30 seconds, it normally takes four minutes. <laughs> Surviving Senior Project, and I quote, this is Paul speaking, quote, I haven't died yet, um, end of quote. So hopefully we'll get through the rest of this practice, or practice, this graduation, and you won't die, okay? But the verse that uh, Paul has chosen for graduation is Proverbs 15.1. A gentle answer, answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Paul Daniels. Noah James Davis. <laughs> Son of Dennis, Dana Davis. His plans to attend college in the fall to major in sports management and exercise science. However, still undecided about where to attend, he's narrowed his choices down to Mount Vernon Nazarene or Ashland University, and he hopes also to plan on running there as well. He's been offered the athletic scholarships to assist with his education when he decides where that will be. Future plans, getting a job, hopefully as an athletic trainer or coach and to help people to be the best athletes that they can be as well. Other accomplishments include serving on the senior mission trip in Hawaii, seeing a sunrise in the state of Hawaii, making the all district team and cross country along with making it to regionals with his friends, doing a senior project, helping to mentor young children. He selected verse in Philippians 4, I can do all things through the, him who gives me strength. And that is Noah Davis. Austin James Dempsey. Yeah. Austin is the son of Bill and April Dempsey. Austin has been accepted into the Russ College of Engineering and Technology at Ohio University Athens as an aviation flight major. He has been awarded the Charles Kilbarger Memorial Scholarship, which is a full ride scholarship based on his grades, ACT scores, and interview. Austin's future plans are to get his degree in aviation, fly commercially, and have a small family. Accomplishments in high school for Austin include obtaining his private pilot's license, being inducted into the National Honor Society, and passing five years of math classes with Mr. Garrett. <laughs> Austin's life verse is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Austin Dempsey. Here we go, Kylie Jo Edwards. <laughs> Daughter of Jo and Michelle Edwards. Kylie will be attending Hillsdale College in Michigan where she has been awarded the academic and athletic scholarships. Be running cross country and track at Hillsdale. Her future plans are to graduate from college, start a career and eventually settle down, get married and have a happy family. Things from high school as far as our accomplishments include participating in three mission trips to Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, uh, placing in the top three in Ohio for two years in cross country and track and running indoor track with Lancaster High School, which included running in the Spire Invitational International Meet, placing third in the state in D1 and seventh in the nationals in the 3,000 meter run. Kylie's verse she has chosen is Philippians 4, and that is rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. 
Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Kylie Edwards. Andrew Charles Ely. Yeah. Andrew, your tassel's behind your ear. There you go. There you go. Okay, get a better picture. Your sister's taking a picture. We want you looking good. All right. Andrew is the son of James and Tracy Ely. Andrew will be attending Ohio University Athens in the fall to major in accounting. He has been awarded an Ohio University Promise Scholarship. The accomplishments that Andrew has chosen that are significant are being inducted into the National Honor Society and Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society. The verse Andrew has chosen for graduation is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Andrew Ely. Christian Jacob Fisher. He is the son of Bob and Brenda Fisher. Jake has been accepted to and will attend DeVry University in the fall, majoring in computer information systems, has been awarded the DeVry Educational Scholarship to use towards his studies. His future plans are to have a job that he loves, to have a happy life, significant accomplishments for Jake, including being awarded Most Outstanding Computer Support and Technology Student during the 2015-16 school year at Fairfield Career Center, getting a paid internship through FCA at Casto Real Estate in downtown Columbus in their IT department during the summer of 2016, receiving the Scholastic Art and Writing 2014 Silver Key Award for Excellence in Visual Arts by the Columbus College of Art and Design, is also passed the Newark Pro Certification Exam, which is a crucial network industry achievement. It's good stuff. Jake's favorite verse, Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And this is Jake Fisher. Ariana Felicity Forbes. Ariana is the daughter of Drs. David and Tracy Forbes. She has been accepted to Eastern Kentucky University in Richmond, Kentucky. She has been awarded a scholarship to attend, and her future plans are to major in pre-physical therapy and eventually have a family. The significant accomplishments include winning the league three times in a row for varsity track, earning varsity letters in cheer, basketball, and track, and graduating high school without falling apart. <laughs> Her favorite verse is Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Ariana Forbes. Samantha Rose Hampton. Samantha! Daughter of Troy and Brenda Hampton. She's been accepted at Mount, Vaz Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Been awarded an MVNU Academic Achievement Scholarship to assist towards her major in nursing. Future plans are to study nursing in college in preparation for a job in, as a nurse practitioner. Her accomplishments here in high school include being inducted to the National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, being an upward cheer coach, participating as a chapel band keyboard player. Sam's life verse, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9, we are afflicted in every way but not crushed, perplexed but not driven to despair, persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not destroyed. Samantha Hampton. David 
Jeremiah Harris. David is the son of Dale and Kim Harris. David will be attending the University of Cincinnati to double major in dance and marketing. He's received a dance scholarship from the University of Cincinnati to assist with his studies. And David's future plans are to go to college, graduate, then aud audition and be hired into a major ballet company, and hopefully work his way up to the American Ballet Theater Company, which is where he wants to be. When he completes his professional dance career, because he wisely knows he can't dance forever, he would like to either become a CEO of a business or become a ma marketing manager in charge of the entire department of a major company such as Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Significant accomplishments for David in high school include going to New York City and performing at Carnegie Hall with the Columbus Symphony Youth Orchestra, auditioning at the Central Ohio Youth Ballet and landing the main role as the Nutcracker Prince, and being part of Echoing Hills during his sophomore and junior years. The verse David has chosen for graduation is Deuteronomy 31.8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. David Harris. <laughs> Eric Isaiah Heron. Yeah. He is the son of Eric and Marlena Heron. Eric will be attending college at the Ohio Christian University, where he's been awarded the OCU Presidential Scholarship, an OCU Christian School Award, and an Ablaze Music Scholarship. His plans are to major in business with future plans to get a dog. <laughs> That's a good start. Uh, get a good job and be, in, and be involved in a church. Significant accomplishments from high school for Eric is getting his black belt becoming an international class IHMSA shooter and uh, being a part of several worship teams in high school while looking forward to the opportunity to playing on a traveling worship team in college. Eric's life verse is found in James 1, 2 through 3. Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Eric Heron. Dustin N. Hill. <laughs> Dustin is the son of Jennifer Hill. Dustin will be attending Ohio University Lancaster where he has been awarded the OUL Freshman Achievement Scholarship based on his GPA and ACT scores. His future plans are to graduate from college and become a writer. Significant accomplishments for Dustin in high school include being inducted into the National Honor Society, beginning to learn the electric and bass guitar for senior project, and being the youngest person to complete the five pound Cherry Street Breakfast Challenge. <laughs> Now, of course, being the excellent guidance counselor that I am, I had to verify what this was because I had no clue. So I Googled it. And yes, indeed, the Cherry Street Pub in Lancaster has the Cherry Street Pub Challenge. That is five pounds of food that must be eaten in 30 minutes or less. Try if you dare, and Dustin did. <laughs> The verse that Dustin has chosen for graduation in Rome is Romans 12, 10. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Dustin Hill. Luke David Hoover. He is the son of Mike and Liz Hoover. Luke will be attending the University of Texas at Dallas in the fall to major 
in actuarial science. Luke is 2017 National Merit semifinalist and finalist as a result of his outstanding scores in the PSAT and SAT testing. He is in the top 1% of the 1.5 million students who took the PSAT that identifies academically, academically challenged young people from all parts of the U.S. It's an amazing accomplishment as you hear those words. In recognition of being named a finalist, he has been awarded the University of Texas National Merit Scholarship, which includes full coverage of his tuition, mandatory fees, as well as a cash stipend for every semester to help with other educational fees. Luke was also awarded a scholarship directly from the National Merit Organization to be used towards his education. Luke's future plans are to get a job, get married. Are there any funds for a wedding in that? Uh, <laughs> Man, that would be nice. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a thought. Uh, traveling a lot. He wants to uh, start a family, pursue God, and God's plan for his life. The significant accomplishments for Luke include qualifying for regionals and track cross country, getting to run for four years with his best friends, uh, winning at the senior event of which we do not speak, and being a national merit scholar. His verse is found in Proverbs 1. The fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. And he is Luke Hoover. <laughs> Ruth Ann Johnson. Ruth is the daughter of Dr. Scott and Sue Johnson. Ruthie will be attending Xavier University where she has been accepted into the occupational therapy program that will culminate in a doctorate of occupational therapy. Ruthie has been awarded the Musketeer Scholarship from Xavier and her future plans include running on Xavier's track team while pursuing her doctorate in occupational therapy in the hopes of one day working with children who have special needs and eventually having a big family of her own. Her significant accomplishments include being the only girl at FCA to earn 12 varsity letters and being named Fairfield County Female Athlete of the Year being named Academic All-Ohio and All-Ohio Athlete for Volleyball and Track, along with other district and regional awards, and holding leadership and captain roles in Young Life, Worship Team, Christian Athletic Camp, and all three sports of volleyball, basketball, and track. The verse that Ruthie has chosen for graduation is Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Ruthie Johnson. Samuel Kandra. Sam is the son of Pete and the late Markel Kandra, stepson of Lisa Kandra. Sam has decided to attend the University of Cincinnati in the fall and major in business management. His future plans are to attend college, to graduate, hopefully start his own business and family. Accomplishments of note Sam has to share in uh, his high school career. Being the captain of the FCA ba uh, baseball team, being a part of the chapel band, having the opportunity to serve in his church. His favorite verse found in James 1.6, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like the wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Give it up for Sam Kandra. Iris Nicole Kellett. Iris is the daughter of Eric and Elisa Kellett. She will be attending Otterbein University to study nursing. Isn't she cute? She'll be a really darling nurse. <laughs> Iris has been awarded an Otterbein President Scholarship and also an Otterbein Grant. Her future plans are to graduate with a nurse practitioner's license, eventually get married, travel, and have a beautiful family someplace warm. <laughs> Not Ohio. 
Significant accomplishments for Iris include being an intern at Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. I'm going to read this for her senior project, being involved on the sports teams of cross country, basketball, and track, and making it to regionals and states with her teammates, and working alongside Mrs. Hogue at Echoing Hills. The verse that Iris has selected for graduation is Psalm 1611. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Iris Kellett. Catherine Grace Keys. Daughter of Kelly and Carla Keys. Kate will be attending Ohio University of Lancaster, where she has been awarded the OUL Freshman Achievement Scholarship. Her plans are to study psychology and criminology while serving in the United States Air National Guard Reserve. She will eventually transfer to the Ohio State University to finish out her bachelor's degree. Future plans for Katie, serve as an agent in Homeland Security or as a detective for a local law enforcement agency. She also plans to get married someday, have a beautiful family, live in a Pinterest-designed country home. <laughs> Significant high school memories for Katie include receiving the honor of being crowned as FCA's 2016 homecoming queen, landscaping the entire camp echoing hills with Mrs. Ratliff during her sophomore and junior years, and being on the first girls cross country team to run at the state championship meet during her junior year. Katie's life verse is found in 2 Corinthians 3. You show that you are a letter from Christ, result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Katie Keys. Luke Lahan Kumler. We had to practice that. Luke is the son of Keith and Kate Kumler. Luke will be attending the Ohio State University in the fall to major in engineering. He's been awarded an OSU Maximus Scholarship, the President's Affordability Grant, and a Scarlet and Gray Grant from the Ohio State University. Luke has also been awarded the Most Valuable Student Scholarship from the Ohio Elks Association. Future plans for Luke include attending college and earning his bachelor's and master's degrees in engineering and possibly even his PhD. He hopes to get married and start a family, and most of all, he wants to follow the path that the Lord has set before him. Significant high school accomplishments for Luke include running cross country, advancing to regionals all four years, and making memories with my teammates the senior mission trip to Hawaii, and serving as senior class president and president of National Honor Society, both of which he did very well. Luke's favorite verse is Joshua 1.8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written. For then you will make your way prosperous, prosperous, and then you will have good success. Luke Kumler. Caleb M. Labenthal. <laughs> Son of Don and Jackie Labenthal. Caleb will be attending Coastal Carolina University in Conway, South Carolina in the fall to major in exercise science. He has been awarded the Coastal Scholar Award to use towards his tuition. His future plans are to study exercise science to raise a happy family. His high school accomplishments include being captain in varsity football for two years, surviving senior year anatomy class, eating four cheeseburgers in two minutes while driving. <laughs> First Caleb has chosen for graduation is Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Caleb Lobenthal. <laughs> Caleb 
he says he wasn't texting while he's eating those burgers. <laughs> Robert Charles Leeper. <laughs> Robert is the son of Frank and Stacy Leeper. He will be attending Wright State University in the fall to major in biology. Robert has been accepted into the honors program at Wright State and then and also been awarded the Val Victorian Full Tuition Scholarship along with the Competitive Honors Scholarship to use toward his college education. His future plans include being on the pre-medical track in college with the hope of eventually getting into med school and becoming a doctor. His significant accomplishments from high school include being senior class treasurer and Mu Alpha Theta treasurer, captain of the varsity football and baseball teams, and achieving principal's honor roll all throughout high school. His favorite verse is 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Robert Leeper. Thank you. William Chandler Letner. He is the son of Brian and Sharon Lettner. Chandler will be attending Ohio Christian University where he has been awarded an athletic scholarship. His future plans are to play basketball and perhaps pursue a major in psychology. The significant accomplishment that Chandler has chosen from his high school years include earning a total of four varsity letters during high school, playing guitar for his church for six years, being able to go on multiple mission trips and camps to help serve others. The verse that Chandler has chosen today is his life verse in Deuteronomy 31.8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Do not fear and do not be dismayed. Chandler Lettner. Aaron Louise Loper. Erin is the daughter of Stephen and Penelope Loper. She will be attending Ohio State, Ohio State, Ohio University Lancaster to major in financing. Her future plans are to finish college, get a job as a financial advisor, eventually start a family while she runs her own her dream youth camp. The significant accomplishments that Erin wants to share include finishing high school. Which, yes, check. Getting Mrs. Smeltzer's Mad Aloe Award. And gaining the best friends of my life through Bloom Youth Fellowship. And you guys. Aaron's favorite verse is Acts 17, 25 to 27. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. Aaron Loper. Zachary William McCarty. He is the son of Kevin and Pamela McCarty. Zach has been accepted at Mount Vernon Nazarene University where he's been awarded the MVNU Heritage Academic Scholarship. He will be majoring in art and graphic design. His plans are to graduate from college, have a job as graphic designer, and to get married. Significant accomplishments for Zach include serving at Camp Echoing Hills, receiving the Coaches Award for Track and Field, receiving the Heart and Hustle Award for Cross Country. 
Zach's life verse is found in Colossians 3.23. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Zach McCarty. Rachel Nicole McCoy. Rachel is the daughter of Joseph and Pamela McCoy. Rachel will be attending Ohio University Lancaster in the fall, and her future plans are to graduate from college, get married, and start a family. Significant accomplishments that Rachel asked to share include being named Student of the Month during her junior year, being on high honor roll during her 10th, and 10th through 12th grade years, and being on the honor roll during ninth grade. Rachel's favorite verse is Hebrews 12, 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Rachel McCoy. Madeline Nicole Mitchell is the daughter of Roland and Charlene Mitchell. Madeline has been accepted at Mount Vernon Nazarene University where she will be majoring in middle childhood education. She has been awarded the MVNU Achievement Scholarship and her plans are to go to college to get her degree and become a teacher. Significant accomplishments for Madeline in high school would include being inducted into the National Honor Society and the National English Honor Society and also being a part of the Archery Club. The verse that Madeline has chosen for graduation today is in Proverbs 31, 25. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Madeline Mitchell. Kyle Brent Mosley. Kyle's the son of Brent and Patty Mosley, and Kyle will be attending the University of Michigan this fall. Hey, he has been awarded the University of Michigan Provost Award and the University of Michigan Grant. He has been accepted into the School of Kinesiology and plans to major in movement science as part of the pre-medical track. His future plans include graduating in four years at the University of Michigan, which is the number one public university in the nation. <laughs> he wrote it, but I agree with it. With a degree, and then get into medical school and begin the long path to becoming an orthopedic athletic team doctor. He also hopes to start a family and happily live out the rest of his life in a warmer climate. You're going to Michigan for school. <laughs> Okay, after that, okay. Yeah, Michigan is pretty cold. <laughs> Significant accomplishments for Kyle in high school include being the former class vice president and class president, being on the principal's high honor roll throughout high school, and being named first team all mid-state league and all district, as well as being a captain on the varsity, FCA varsity football team. Kyle's favorite verse is John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Kyle Mosley. Oh yeah, today is your 18th birthday, isn't it? Yeah. Are doubly blessed. <laughs> Nicholas Ivan Moxley <laughs> is the son of Gennaro and Lisa Moxley. Nico will be attending Kentucky Christian University in Grayson, Kentucky to major in business administration. He has been awarded the KCU Athletic Award, KCU Academic Opportunity Award, and a KCU Commitment Grant to use toward his college education. He will also be playing football for Kentucky Christian University Knights. 
This should be easy to remember. All right, his future plans, graduating from KCU to get a job with his degree, get ready, and start a family. Significant accomplishments here at high school. Nico wanted to share here is receiving an all-state recognition in football, being offered an athletic scholarship for college, making it through Coach Hooper's practices during his junior year. His favorite verse is found in Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Nico Moxley. Isaac Allen Nayers. Isaac is the son of Jeff and Charlene Nayers. Isaac will be attending the University of Cincinnati in the fall, where he has received a track scholarship to use toward his college education and will be joining the Bearcats track and field program. His future plans are to focus hard in school and eventually move south to start a family. The significant accomplishments that Isaac has chosen to share include being captain of the, of the track and basketball teams, being an all-Ohio athlete for football and track and field, and breaking and holding six school records in track and field. The verse that Isaac has chosen is Isaiah 43:19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Isaac Nayers. <laughs> Savannah Marie Neely. She is the daughter of David and Wendy Neely. Savannah will be attending Ohio University in the fall. Been awarded the Ohio University Achievement Scholar Award, the Ohio University Distinction Award, and the OU Green and White Scholarship. Savannah plans on majoring in psychology as part of the pre-med track. Future plans are to become a doctor, although at present she is not sure of a particular specialization in the medical field. Her accomplishments here for Savannah in high school would be uh, becoming certified to volunteer as a first aid service team member with the American Red Cross, lettering in tennis, being in the top 10% of her class for her 9th through 11th grade years at Greenbrier East High School in West Virginia. Savannah's favorite verse is in 1 Peter 1, 6. So be truly glad. There's wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while, Savannah Neely. <laughs> Abigail Chloe Nielsen. She's a daughter of Timothy and Dawn Nielsen. Abby has decided to attend Cedarville University to major in biology pre-med. She's been awarded a Cedarville University Academic Award and a Cedarville Campus Award. Her future plans are to get into medical school and become an emergency room doctor. She would like to travel around the world and possibly help out with Doctors Without Borders. Significant accomplishments for Abby include putting in 250 hours of volunteer work at Fairfield Medical Center, going on mission trips to Italy, France, Honduras, and Mexico, and getting ready to go to the Dominican Republic this summer, and building a house in Mexico and being only one of four people who actually built the roof. <laughs> there you go. Guys, she's handy with tools. <laughs> Abby's life verse is Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Abigail Nielsen. <laughs> Sarah Renee Nolan. She is the daughter of Dennis and Sherry Nolan. Sarah will be attending 
Mount Vernon Nazarene University in the fall, majoring in early childhood education. She has been awarded the MVNU Achievement Scholarship and an MVNU University Scholarship. Her plans are to graduate from college, get a job teaching first grade. She would also like to eventually get married and have a family. Accomplishments that Sarah has chosen to share, being inducted to National Honor Society during her sophomore year, having the opportunity to serve at Camp Echoing Hills during her sophomore junior year, and being nominated sophomore homecoming attendant. Sarah's favorite verse, 2 Timothy 1 7, for the Spirit of God gave us, the Spirit that God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self discipline. My favorite Nolan, Sarah. Nolan. Sarah has sparkle shoes on. <laughs> Isaac Thomas Payne. <laughs> Isaac is the son of Thomas and Kimberly Payne. He will be attending Bluffton University where he will be majoring in Integrated Social Studies and Coaching. He's been awarded the Bluffton Academic Scholarship with Distinction Scholarship and a Presidential Scholarship Competition Award. Isaac will also be joining the Bluffton Beavers to play football. His future plans are to play football at Bluffton University, graduate, become a teacher, football coach, and start a family. Significant accomplishments for Isaac include playing varsity football for four years, being on principal's honor roll for four years, and making FCA choir great again. <laughs> That's what he put. It is. Isaac's life verse is Revelations 3.8. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Isaac Payne, go forth. Miles Adam Ralph. He is the son of Nathan and Rita Ralph. Miles will be attending Wright State University in the fall to major in biology pre-med. He has been awarded a Wright State Valedictorian Full Tuition Scholarship with an additional edu educational stipend. His future plan is to attend med school, become a physician. His accomplishments here at high school include establishing a reading program at Stowe Mission, being named first team, all district and honorable mention, all state in football, and receiving the Mu Alpha Theta Gemini Trophy. A scripture that Miles has chosen for today is 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Miles Ralph. Preston Alexander Randall. <laughs> Preston is the son of Anthony and Rebecca Randall. He has been accepted and will attend The Ohio State University in the fall to major in aerospace engineering. He has been awarded an OSU Trustees Scholarship. Future plans for Preston are to graduate college with a degree in engineering, find a job, start a family, and travel the world. Memories for Preston of high school include receiving the Preston the White Award and going on the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society trips. His life verse is Joshua 1, 9b. Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Preston Randall. Nicholas Stephen Rhodes. He is the son of Steve and Lynn Rhodes. Nick has been accepted into the mechanical engineering major at the University of Dayton. He's been awarded the UD President's Merit Scholarship, the Leadership and Service Scholarship, the Study Abroad Scholarship, and an additional textbook award to help pay for his college education. 
future plans are to get a master's degree in mechanical engineering, then to get a job with the hopes to start a family after that. Significant accomplishments for Nick here at high school include being first team all mid-state league in golf during his junior year, being on principal's honor roll for all four years of high school, being part of winning the first ever boys MSL title and track senior year, and his uh, life verse is Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Nicholas Rhodes. Logan Daniel Roca. Logan is the son of Jonathan and Roxanne Roca. Logan has been accepted to and will attend Ohio University Lancaster in the fall to major in secondary education. His future plans include becoming a high school math teacher and a coach. He's, he also plans on getting into the ministry and starting a family. Logan's significant accomplishments in high school include starting the P7 Bible study, being captain of the football and baseball teams, and playing drums for chapel band and at church. Logan's life verse is Mark 8, 34b. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Logan Roca. Olivia Shannon Ross. She is the daughter of Mark and Dr. Jennifer Ross. Olivia will be attending Wright State University where she's been awarded the Wright State Raiders Excellence Award. Olivia has also been awarded a scholarship from the South Central Power Company Foundation to use toward her education. She is also a recipient of a Cordell's Care Foundation scholarship and received the D. Eugene Ward Scholarship through the Fairfield Foundation. Our future plans are to attend Wright State Nursing Program and then go on to graduate school to become a nurse practitioner. She would like to work in the emergency department and also plans to get married and have a family. Significant accomplishments for Olivia in high school included over 100 volunteer service hours at Fairfield Medical Center, participating in the state qualifying varsity cross country team, and being a member of the National Honor Society. Her, one of her favorite verses is found in uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Olivia Ross. Evan Nathaniel Rubel. Evan is the son of Blaine and Susan Rubel. Evan will be attending The Ohio State University to study physics in the fall. His future plans are to own a small and cozy home in the woods with two big dogs and a good job in research. Those are plans. Specific. Significant accomplishments that Evan has chosen from high school include surviving the ACT, making it to the bottom of the hill on a snowboard without falling once in ski club, and sleeping on Mount Pleasant during cross country. <laughs> Evan, Evan's favorite verse is Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Evan Rubel. Samantha Dawn Skeen. She is the daughter of Dawn and Michelle Skeen. Sam will be attending the Ohio State School of Cosmetology in the fall. She's been awarded a senior scholarship to attend and her future plans are to obtain her cosmetology license and be excellent at what she does. She would also like to buy a house, be financially safe, 
and have a life that is full of happiness. Significant high school accomplishments for Sam include being awarded the Heart and Hustle Award freshman year in varsity cheer, serving at Camp Echoing Hills for two years, and graduating from high school. The verse that Sam has chosen for today is out of Philippians 3.13. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining for what is ahead. Sam Skeen. Lydia Margaret Smith. Lydia is the daughter of Rob and Maggie Smith. She will be attending Mount Vernon Nazarene University in the fall to major in early childhood education. She's been awarded the MVNU Achievement Scholarship as well as an MVNU University Scholarship to use toward her studies. Her future plans include earning her degree in early childhood education and certification as an intervention specialist. She would like to become a kindergarten teacher, find a husband, start a family, and follow God's plan for her life. Significant accomplishments for Lydia in high school include being inducted into the National Honor Society, being a leader for FCA's worship team, and having over 200 hours of volunteer service to the community. Lydia's life verse is Jeremiah 29, 13. When you seek me and find me, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Lydia Smith. Isaac Matthew Spangler, the son of Kevin and Amy Spangler. Isaac will be attending Hillsdale College in the fall to major in pre-med. He's received the Hillsdale Half Tuition Scholarship to use toward his college tuition. Isaac has also been awarded the Robert E. Evans Education Fund Scholarship for 2017 from the People's Bank to use toward his education as well as Grant Monroe Scholarship through the PNC Institutional Investments Foundation. His future plans are to become the best pilot in the Solar Red Out Racing League, see on YouTube, and to start a cafe after earning money as a physical therapist. Significant accomplishments that Isaac has chosen to share include being a model for Dennis Davis clothing line, <laughs> composing over 150 songs, producing a whole season of the FCA Connect radio show with Casey Curtis and surviving FCA. The verse Isaac has chosen for graduation is in John 11:35. Jesus wept because this verse shows that Christ is truly the God-man and fully human and fully alive. And this is Isaac Spangler. Mackenzie Brooks Speakman. <laughs> Mackenzie is the daughter of Robin and Jereen Speakman, who is out there crying, I'm sure, right, Jereen? It's all good. Mackenzie will be attending the Bluff be attending Bluffton University in the fall, and she plans to major in psychology and education. She's been awarded a Bluffton Academic Excellence Scholarship, a Presidential Scholarship Participation Award, a Tuition Equalization Program Scholarship, and a Bluffton Opportunity Grant to use toward her education. She was also awarded a Grant Monroe Scholarship from PNC Institutional Investments. In addition, McKenzie will be joining the Bluffton Beavers Volleyball Program. Her future plans are to graduate college, find a strong job doing what she loves, she would like to marry the man God has chosen for her and have a wonderful family, and above all else, follow God's plan for her life and go wherever he takes her. Significant accomplishments in high school for McKenzie include being inducted into the National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, being a four-year varsity letter holder in volleyball and softball, and three-time league champions in volleyball, yes, and participating in Missions Week, two years of, echoing, of Camp Echoing Hills and the senior mission trip to Hawaii. Kinsey's favorite verse is Jeremiah 26, 14. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me whatever you think is good and right. Mackenzie Speakman.
Abigail Mary Spurgis. The daughter of Phil and Diana Spurgis, Abigail, has been accepted to Ohio University Athens, where she has been awarded an Ohio University Promise Award, an OU Achievement Scholarship, and an Ohio University Distinction Scholarship. She will be majoring in chemistry. Her future plans are to graduate from college, maybe get married, and to travel. Significant accomplishments for Abigail in high school include going to the Elite Eight in basketball junior year, having a total four-year record of 84 wins, 15 losses, being allowed to participate on three Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society national competitions, and being co-president of the National English Honor Society. The verse that Abigail has chosen for graduation is Romans 15:13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Abigail Spurgis. Tyler Jonathan Stalter. Tyler is the son of Kevin and Jill Stalter. Tyler will be attending Ohio University main campus in Athens where he will be majoring in business finance. His future plans are to graduate from FCA, go to college, and one day run his own business. Significant accomplishments for Tyler include making it to senior year, being on honor roll every year, every year of high school, and bench pressing 225 pounds. Yeah! The verse that Tyler has chosen for graduation is Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, so, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Tyler Stalter. Connor Daniel Stevens, the son of Todd and Lisa Stevens. Connor is enlisted in the United States Air Force. And let us know what your plans are once you get there. Times, dates, events, we'll follow you on Facebook and your parents. Thank you for your service, we appreciate that. His future plans are to pursue a career with the Air Force, travel the world, and make his family proud. Connor's significant high school accomplishments, including enlisting in the Air Force, playing varsity basketball, looking back, and never having any regrets about high school. The verse that Connor has selected is Psalm 144.1, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Connor Stevens. Matthew Alexander Tobin. Matthew is the son of Michael and Risa Tobin. He will be attending Wright State University to study engineering. He's been awarded a Wright State Academic Scholarship to use toward his college education. Matt is also the recipient of the American Legion Fairfield Post 11 Scholarship and he was selected as a national finalist for a National Honor Society scholarship sponsored by the National Association of Secondary School Principals. Matt was one of 24 high school students in America to receive this honor. He also has been awarded the Rush Creek Grange Scholarship to the Fairfield Foundation to use toward his studies. His future plans are to attain a bachelor's and a master's degree with as little debt as possible. Yes, amen to all that, for all of them. After college, he hopes to have the opportunity to travel and eventually start a family. Significant accomplishments for Matt in high school include, include competing in the Mu Alpha Theta National Conventions for three years, including the Orlando, Florida competition, where he ended up crying from laughing so hard with his friends Bobby Leeper and Luke Kumler, <sighs> working at Camp Echoing Hills and creating many memories with his friends. Let's just say yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. And being a member of student council every year and sometimes goofing off instead of working during our meetings. <laughs> Matt's life verse is Matthew 6, 33 to 34. 
But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew Tobin. We also want to re recognize here this morning, uh, he's not here with us today, but we want to acknowledge Zane K. Clark Truesdell and the son of Jay and Linnea Truesdell. Zane has been accepted to and will attend Ohio State University, a main campus, majoring in engineering, been awarded an OSU Trustees Scholarship, plans to attend OSU, he's starting in, en in the engineering program, and then seeing where his interests take him from there. He hopes to get married, start a family, travel, live in Columbus, or wherever his career takes him. Some of his accomplishments here in high school, shadowing at Diamond Power Specialty Company, co-designing and constructing the first disc golf course in Bremen, and being part of the ski club. And Zane's verse is found in Ezra 10, 4, Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. And that is Zane Truesdell. Naomi Lynn Wygant. Yeah. Naomi is the daughter of Jeff and Rachel Wygant. She will be attending Mount Carmel College of Nursing, where she will work toward a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Her future plans are to continue her education and eventually become a nurse practitioner. Significant memories for Naomi from high school include the senior missions trip to Hawaii, being inducted into the National Honor Society, and being softball captain during her junior and senior years. Her favorite vote verse is Psalms 59, 16. But as for me, I will sing about your power each morning. I will sing with joy about your unfailing love. For you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. Naomi Wygant. Cole Baxter Williams. The son of Greg and Teresa Williams, Cole will be attending the Ohio State University at Newark to major in exercise science. His future plans are to become a physical therapist and a sports performance trainer. Significant accomplishments for Cole in high school include being part of missions trips to Costa Rica and Hawaii, surviving Mr. Garrett's CP algebra class, and being part of the Mid-State League track championship team. Cole's life verse in Proverbs 27, one through two, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what the day may bring. Let someone else praise you, and not your own mouth, an outsider, and not your own lips. This is Cole Williams. Elizabeth Rose Young. <laughs> Allie is the daughter of Brett and Bobby Young. She will be attending Ohio University Lancaster in the fall, and her future plans are to figure out her major for college and be a wife and amazing mom to a big, goofy family. She would also like to do some traveling and see God's beautiful creation. Significant accomplishments for Allie include being a part of Chapel Band, Night Singers, FCA Choir, volunteering as a mentor in the infant room of the daycare program, which has resulted in her having a full-time position after she gets her diploma to get today. Work starts Tuesday, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, and she's also being, and also being a part of the varsity cheer squad, cheering our guys on to victory. The verse that Allie has chosen for graduation is Psalms 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Allie Young.
Mackenzie Taylor Young. She is the daughter of Christy and Jim McAfee and Dale and Lori Young. Mackenzie has been accepted and will attend Ohio University in Athens this fall to major in chemistry pre-med. She has been awarded an Ohio Signature Award Scholarship to use toward her studies at OU. Her future plans are to attend college, move on to med school, become a pediatrician, and find a hottie to live life with. <laughs> <laughs> Being inducted into National Honor Society, an high school accomplishment that is most significant to her. Mackenzie's favorite verse is in Psalm 16:8. <laughs> I've tried so hard, but you should have picked something out of Song of Solomon, apparently, is what I was <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Psalm 16.8 says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Mackenzie Young. We appreciate your, your patience and just enjoying, yes, a much bigger class today, but that was very special that we were able to acknowledge each student once again this year. And it is my pre pleasure at this point of our ceremony to reintroduce uh, or introduce to you Luke Hoover, summa cum laude, class chaplain, to come to the podium at this time to give his class address. Hello. All right. I'd like to say a big good morning to you all. Now, I'm not going to list the many different groups of people I see out here because I'm a busy guy and I'm doing big, important things, okay? Get off my back. Sheesh. You guys are a hard audience, man. But congratulations to my classmates, this year's graduating class. Man, it doesn't really seem real, does it? Seems like just yesterday we were freaking out over the possibility of us all contracting Ebola or groaning every time Rachel Cruz came on one of Dave Ramsey's videos in economics, am I right? Get her out of there. But seriously, congratulations on completing the easiest four years of your life. It gets harder from here, but Soon you will be out on your own, fending for yourself in this dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in. But never fear, because I have some amazing insight that I've amassed during the 17.77 years that I've spent outside the womb on this planet. And I will now impart this insight to you in the form of advice, in the form of brand slogans that we all know and love. So let's get started. My first point comes from Nike, or as the Brits say, Nike. Just do it. Now, we have all heard this phrase, but we rarely think of it as an inspiration for success. Success requires that sometimes we have to do things we do not want to do. But, and I know that some things that you will face will be challenging, messy, and possibly even scary. But to quote my father and my mother and probably any good parent out there, I didn't ask you if you wanted to, I told you to do it. <laughs> The good thing is that by having this just-do-it attitude, you will have already set yourself apart. The world is full of lazy and unmotivated people who do not take initiative. The good news is that it makes it very easy to stay ahead of the curve. So develop a strong work ethic, and it will help you tremendously in the long run. My second point comes from Taco Bell, live mas, which is translated live more. In life, you must live life, essentially. Be sure not to get so caught up in advancing yourself and pursuing your career that you lose sight of these two facts. 
Life is short and people matter. Yes, work hard and chase after success like you are a dog and it is a car, but also keep in mind that the things that you're chasing after will never give you true fulfillment or happiness. So live. My third point comes from Timex. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> now, this ought to be an accurate description of you, graduates. In short, don't be a snowflake, because guess what? People are jerks sometimes, and if you let every mean word or action directed at you affect you in a very deep way, you will never live up to your full potential or lead a good life, because you will be constantly worried about what others are saying and doing. Do your own job and do it with confidence and persevere through the hard times. Now this will also set you apart in a world that is full of people who are easily offended and who love to play the victim just to gain attention or justification. It is true that life isn't fair, but actually it's most likely true that life isn't fair in your favor. All of you are walking out of here with a solid start to your education. That is something that many kids only wish they had had the opportunity to obtain. You have been given a gift, so use it wisely. And when the hardships come, just keep swimming, as Dory put it best. <laughs> My fourth point comes from Lowe's. Never stop improving. It's really that simple. But it is also essential to understand that you will never be a finished product. Your goal in life is to pursue excellence by striving to be Christ-like in everything that you do and to live your life in such a way that it brings glory to God. However, you will never be perfect. You will fail, but it is what we do after we fail that defines us. So pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back in the saddle and learn from your mistakes. My fifth point comes from Apple. Think different. Now, although this grammar is wrong and it should be think differently, I will put that aside for now. <laughs> As you go through life, you will need to have a different mindset than everyone else. The rest of the world goes through life with no end goal in mind, but you have to go through life with eternity in mind. If you live with constant regard towards God's kingdom, it will change the way you do everything. This goes hand in hand with a good work ethic because if you're constantly conscious, conscious of God and his kingdom in your day-to-day -day life, it will motivate you to do things unto God and not unto man, as the Bible says in Colossians 3.23. Also, you must learn to see everything with a biblical worldview. Now, this may cause you to feel like you're a salmon swimming upstream, but trust me when I say that if you feel like you're going against the flow, you're probably doing something right. That being said, surround yourself with godly friends who are positive influences on your life, and, it will, and that will encourage you in the faith. So think differently. <laughs> My sixth point comes from the U.S. Army. Be all you can be. Now this one may be the hardest. Being all that you can be requires that you live up to your God-given potential. And this is incredibly difficult because this entails that we be our very best at all times. The good news is that I see amazing potential as I look around. I see bright young minds, caring hearts, stellar athletes, artistically gifted individuals, and many other talents. Our collective potential as a class is enormous. So let's not squander it by settling for less than our best or becoming complacent. Also, don't forget where you live, and I mean this in two ways. First of all, don't forget where your house is. That would be very bad, okay? So if, like, if you move, you should, you should like, write it down where you live. I don't want you guys to be going home one night and not even know where you're going. But also, don't forget where you live. You live in America. America is a place of freedom, which provides a place where you can flourish and reach your full potential. Respect that. Now, this country has blessed you greatly already, whether or not you realize it. Remember that. And there are men and women who put their lives on the line every day to keep our nation this way. These individuals deserve your undying respect and admiration for their sacrifice. They understand the truth that freedom don't come free. And my last point is from Allstate. Are you in good hands? The answer to this question is yes. Yes, you are in the best hands ever. You, as God's adopted children, are held in his hands, and nothing can take you out of them. He's watching over you every step of the way. So knowing this, use it. Trust God in everything, and he will direct your paths. Now on to some smaller pieces of advice, of advice that I couldn't really fit with any of the slogans I could find. <sighs> Plan ahead. Take me, for example. I planned an extra minute into this speech in case I started to weep uncontrollably. <laughs> I even included pictures of adorable puppies and balanced chemical equations to soothe me in case of such a disaster. <laughs> and look at me, it turned out great. 
But seriously, plan ahead. Do not let life happen to you. You have to go out there and do it for yourself. Also, remember that you are incredibly blessed. I mean, you have a refrigerator at home, maybe even more than one. Do you know how amazing that is? I mean, do you know what percent of everyone who has ever walked this earth throughout history has owned a fridge? It's not many, I can tell you that much. And lastly, know that some things are going to change. When you walk out of the double doors, it, well, okay, they're not double doors. Well, there, there are double doors, but then there are two single doors on either side. And then there's, so that would make it, what, double, double doors? But then there's a whole other layer on the other side. That's like double, 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 triple, double doors? Is that, oh, I forgot about the glass doors. So that's like, what, double, triple? Double, triple, double, can we sign off? When you walk out of this building, <laughs> life is going to be a little different. You will no longer have your teachers checking up on you to make sure your homework is turned in. You will no longer have your parents there to wake you up in case you sleep past your alarm. Your life will be your own. Now this can be a little scary, but it's also very exciting. So embrace it and go get them, class of 2017. And to quote Edna from The Incredibles, go fight and win. And do it for God. Thank you. <clears throat> I was told my speech wasn't allowed to be funny, so. <laughs> We're gonna take a serious note, but it's pretty short, so just. I'd like to talk to the class of 2018 for a minute. Next year is going to be an incredible time for you. You're going to be a unique senior class with your own successes and failures. To help you on your path, our graduating class would like to offer you some encouragement and guidance. The first thing I wanna to say to you is, make sure you finish strong. Senior year is an amazing chance to make memories and have fun, but you can't lose sight of the goal. The race isn't over yet. Next, don't be afraid to be leaders, both amongst yourselves and to the underclassmen. Senior year requires strong leadership to successfully make it through to the end, and the underclassmen will look up to you, take time to stop and be a friend, or even just a listening ear. Most importantly, stay the course for Christ. Do not compromise your faith. This is the age in our lives when we really develop our faith as a Christian. Make sure to build foundations that will last. Praise God in all that you do, and always remember why we're here. You're going to be an awesome senior class. Make memories that will last a lifetime. Get involved. Try something new. Before you know it, you'll be in our shoes. You'll be full of aspirations and dreams, ready to leave the nest. Just make sure to leave a legacy. You alone are responsible for having a great last year of high school. Graduates of 2017, please come forward and join me in the tradition of passing the batons to the class of 2018. Seniors of 2018, please come forward and receive your baton. It was a lot more quiet than the hallways. <laughs> How 
we're almost finished. I want to take this opportunity again to thank the, the seniors. They've been an outstanding class, and thank you for being an FCA student. I also want to thank the parents and grandparents for your support and sending your child here to FCA. Uh, you don't take the job lightly, and I thank you. Thank you very, very much for your support. All right, seniors, you ready? Please stand up. Okay, on behalf of Mr. Todd George, the board president and the entire FCA school board, I present to you the senior class of 2017. They have met all the requirements set forth by the, our school board, FCA's uh, school board in the Ohio Department of Education, have earned the right to receive their diploma and be called high school graduates. You may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. <laughs> Please remain standing, and I'll introduce Fairfield Christian Church Senior Pastor Dean Woodward to come give the benediction. It's a privilege for me to pray for all of you now. Would you bow your heads? Heavenly Father, thank you for all the accomplishments, all the scholarship money, all the plans. We recognize that you're the one who has blessed this school and blessed this class. We know you're also the only one who knows the future and can control it for our good. And so we come humbly to you for the future of each one of these precious seniors, these uh, who have been invested in for so many years, taught and e exampled. And, and, and Lord, we just pray that you would bless them, you would give them that future we all hope and wish they'll experience. We, we pray that as so many things change, you would be real to them and not change. I pray that you would be their rock. Um, more than anything, what's been around them, may it be in them, may it be owned by them as they go out and can do anything that they want. I pray that they would have tremendous faith and you would be so real blessing them. And I pray that the best years of their life would be now. I pray as they uh, go out on the adventure and have so many more choices and responsibility and freedom, that they will still submit to you and experience their full potential. Father, we pray that you would guide them as never before, give them wise choices, wise decisions, open doors of opportunity, give them grace to walk through those doors successfully. Father, I pray they would trust you, protect them, Lord. Our society would come and say it's the time to be wild before they settle down. But, Lord, we know these years are the most important and set everything in place. So would you protect them? I pray you would bless them with the right life vocation, the right life partner. And, Lord, so many have wished for a happy, blessed life. We know that comes from you. So give that to each one, Lord. May you be with them as you were with Joseph and David and Daniel and Hannah and Esther and Mary. And may it be obvious to everyone that you are blessing each one of their lives. Well, Lord, I pray this is our future. We hand the baton to them. May they go forward and represent you, this school, Jesus Christ, well. May, be, may the world glorify you because of the, the way they live. I pray you would shine through them, Christ in each one of them, the hope of glory. Thank you, Lord. We, we trust you now at this crucial milestone. We recognize you've been our help in ages past. And now, Lord, our hope for years to come. Bless these seniors as they go out in their life. Give them grace and strength for the challenges ahead. And Lord, just give them their hearts great joy. We know that only comes from you. Um, we all love them so much, Lord, and we just pray this blessing now together in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.